now we're going to write a Python code that's going to send a variable, an integer, from the Raspberry Pi to the Arduino over the USB cable. And so we're going to open up an editor and we'll type in the, the uh, Python code, save it, and then we'll run it. We go to LeafPad. Alright, now here's how our Python code starts out. You get the bash sign, or the hashtag, you got exclamation point, USR, uh, bin, and env, and then we're going to go Python. Alright, here's our first line. Then we're going to import uh, serial. Now we're going to open up the communication with that. We'll call that USBcom. And we're going to make that equal to serial dot capital S for serial this time. And then we're going to give it the parameters in there. Uh, let me see here. Slash dev slash tty and then a c m zero and we're going to go 9600 here this will put this in sync with the arduino and it'll be able to communicate back and forth successfully <coughs> so now we're going to do usb uh, com open Oops, yeah. and then we're going to write to that we're going to send our message over so usb com uh, write and we're going to send over a one okay now we're going to save this file and we will make that light blink again. Alright, go to Pi, test, and I'll save it as blink.py. Alright, save that. Now, open up the serial monitor, and we'll type in the number one. This will send number one over the USB cable and it will execute in the Arduino code. So we should see it blink three times. One, two, three. All right, cool. Now, just in case you didn't see that, there's a glare or something. I'll turn up the light and we'll do that again. We'll send another number one. On, off, on, off, on. Okay, now we're going to take and we're going to do, we're going to execute this from a terminal. So here we go here, we're going to change our directory and we're going to go home, pi, I saved it in a test folder and just to see if it's there, we'll list and blink py. All right, now we're going to type in Python uh, and blink dot py, and this should execute the code. Send it over to the uh, USB. Execute on the Arduino side. Three blinks. One, two, three. Okay. And I'm going to turn off the light again, just in case the glare on there, and we will run the same. Here we go, PY, and as you see, it's blinking. So this is how we can successfully send information from the Raspberry Pi to the Arduino, and then 
have the Arduino capture that information and execute what it needs to based on that information. Well, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, uh, visit us on the web, nmbotronics.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.